Hey guys, welcome to Fulton Street Beats. Fun, fun today. So everybody's heard of this company that's kind of taken the internet by storm, Timu. Well, I decided to order a package from Timu. And this microphone that I'm using kind of correlates with that order. So what's it like ordering gear from Timu? Now, a lot of that stuff looks like trinket stuff, but I wanted to give some things a shot. I kept getting this thing coming across my Facebook for a, you know, a knockoff microphone for um, $3.67 if you're new to Timo. And so I did it. And there was something, of course, they get you in there. The draw is to get you in there to, at a very low price and then you add on things. Now, right now, I'm running through my DAW with this microphone. We're going we're gonna to go into this. I ordered a microphone. So I'm running through my DAW with this New Ear NW800. This microphone is a love-hate relationship. It's very sensitive. You can hear every little click through everything on it. But yeah, it's a great vocal mic if you want to lay down vocal tracks. It's a very weird microphone. You can clean it up a lot in your DAW. But right now, we're just running um, some Bob Perry, the, the Ducker Pro 2 basic setting. So if you hear any static every once in a while, it's kind of some weird noise gate filter that's going on that kind of messes up the vocals with this microphone. So keep that in mind. But I wanted to keep, uh, uh, we can keep, we're going to do some testing and keep everything the same. So very inexpensive microphone right here. I think this microphone was right around 30 bucks. Um, but it always, it never fails me. It always works good. And then we have another microphone here that, you know, I forget the name, but it's heavy. It's heavy. It's got a huge diaphragm in it. Very warm microphone. Um, it's like it's a Pro Air and um, Pro AR uh, by Fang Dong Corporation. And um, very cool, heavy microphone. Very warm um, you don't get all that resonant noise through the mic. And that's why I kind of like this one. Very big. I don't know if you can see it in the light. Very big diaphragm. Somebody said they were small. No, these microphones are very small but diaphragms. This one, that's got a very large diaphragm in it. So keep that in mind. But we're going to unbox this. Let's do that because Timu. Wow, guys. The things you can get on there that are super cheap. And I've never dealt with them before. It's not a sponsored video. Nothing. I just thought this was very interesting because you know, I actually ordered a couple things. Timo. I'm going to try to get this package open here without ripping anything. There we go. Okay, so right on top, before we get to the cream de la creme that's inside, let's check this out. So you guys know I'm a big Angus Young fan. Um, I'm a big Angus Young fan. And I got some SGs behind me. One is a knockoff, one is the real deal. And um, needed a guitar strap, so... Got the lightning bolt guitar strap, which will work on an Angus guitar or the Ace Frehley, uh, Les Paul. But um, I guess it's already open, but let's get in here. So, is it junk? Well, this guitar strap cost me $16. This guitar strap cost me $16. It is not junk. It is a very, very nice and appears to be real leather, which is kind of weird. It's not set up properly. Very thick and very comfortable looking. Very nicely done guitar strap. Is this worth? We're right out of the gate. We'll get it out of the way. Is it worth 15, 16 bucks? Hell yes. For a strap of this quality over here, if you saw this, um, you're going to be paying 40, 50 bucks for it. This is a very nice guitar strap. Very, very cool. I just wanted to get this out of the way quickly. I'm going to have to set this up. But uh, appears to be very nice stitching on it. Very thick, very comfortable, no rough edges. And it doesn't say leather, but and it's probably not. But, man, it feels like it. So they did a really good job on that. Happy with that one, Timu. Good. But what's in here? Oh, the microphone. Well, you've probably seen these microphones advertised. And here we go, the presentation. Now, this is uh, scary, but uh, this is uh, branded after. Not branded. It's kind of a clone of an expensive $3,000 microphone. And I hear, saw some reviews on it. Some people loved it. Some people hate it. I'm not expecting much. What I'm expecting is the quality of this New Year 800 or this uh, uh, Mibzen MS2H microphone. That's a very heavy microphone. Really small diaphragm in this mic. But this one sounds really, really, really good. Even better than this one so diaphragm size doesn't always 
make the microphone. A very cool microphone here, very retro looking, but let's look in here and see what we got. So right away, we have a paper with a product service warranty, which I am sure means absolutely nothing, um, but it does have our unidirectional, um, how it works in our frequency response graph. And if this is a real graph, that means the microphone is pretty exceptional, but I doubt it. I think it's just a generalization that they probably put in here, but uh, I, I doubt that's the, the deal. So let's get inside of here. And what do we have? We have a shock mount, a plastic shock mount that is very low quality. Um, actually, we got an aluminum shock mount here that I consider actually low quality. This is a plastic version of it that's low quality, but looks good. Um, the bungee's tight. Clip spring actually feels good, so it's a bonus. But it's a bonus, and at least we have one. And then here is our pop filter. And then, <laughs> why bother, guys? Come on. XLR to XLR. Please stop with this crap. I don't like this. That's one thing I don't like, so that goes in the junk bin over here, but we have the microphone here. And... Look at this. So we don't even have to say the name. You guys know what this microphone is supposed to be a clone of. And first off, I can tell you it's got a, it's got a decent weight to it. It's not, uh, there's nothing else in here, by the way. It's not a heavy microphone by any means. But um, it looks good. So yeah, labeled U87. For those of you who don't know what a U87 is, is simply go on and check it out. I don't, I'm not promoting uh, um in this category, this is nowhere. This is going to be nowhere near the quality of the real deal. Although I'm sure you can get, as with any microphone, decent sounds out of it, providing what settings and noise gates that you're running and stuff like that. So I don't expect this thing to be fantastic. I can see the diaphragm inside. They advertise this as a large diaphragm microphone. This is actually a very small diaphragm microphone. We could go as far as to say medium size, maybe, in between. I don't know, not real. Actually, this one in here is um, actually smaller than this one, I can tell, by the housing. But that one's exceptional for what you're getting. Uh, let's, let's get into it. Let's get into this U87 recording microphone and see. Uh, case outside, nice looking. Uh, the grill's very nice looking. Of course, we have our... A little logo on the outside here with our with our polar pattern. Um, let's unscrew this and here and, and see what we got. And um, I like to dive into this stuff and check it out. So what do we got here? Let's pull this off. We got a little ring there and nothing special. No, no. Okay. No, that's really funny. So there's our circuit board right here, and uh, we can flip it over here. It it's. A decent looking circuit board, nothing to write home to mom about, but decently done. And it looks like you'd have dip switches on the inside here, but there is no dip switches on the inside. Um, so, but it's a, looks like a solid microphone. We don't even know if it works yet, but I guarantee when we get in here, the, the quality compared to what they advertise of the uh, diaphragm is definitely not going to be uh, what it is definitely not going to be what they said. So let's do this. Let's unscrew this and check this out. Now, this probably will turn a lot of people off right away, but I never judge a microphone by how it looks or what size diaphragm. I don't do it. I judge it by what does it do when we plug it in um, with basic settings. That's how, I, that's how I always judge them. So let's pull this off. I don't get all fancy with my settings either, as you can tell with this microphone, but there we go. That's a tiny little diaphragm in there. Nothing special plastic um and a very tiny diaphragm and i can tell you right now before we even plug it in is going to have a lot of well noise like this and the reason that is being because there's no shock mounts in between the diaphragm and the housing and what have you so uh, realistically we should have um some rubber in between here would help a lot and if we take these screws out and we mount this on a little rubber platform in between, which is a really easy thing to do, you don't get all that shock vibration trans, uh, that w which transmits frequency into the uh, diaphragm. So we'll probably end up doing that, but I'm going to take this off and we'll come back and real quick 
um, was cut right now, and we'll see how it sounds. No settings change. It's the exact same settings, so what you see is what you get. Okay, we're back. So right away, what I can tell you is that this microphone is has a lot more um, power running through it. It's uh, it pick up picks up a lot more room noise, but yet is a lot clearer. So right now, to keep it in perspective, I'm wow, probably a foot and a half away from the microphone. No pop filter on, by the way. So why don't we put that on? I did have to put the housing on because they actually integrated the the uh, grill into a ground. So without this on, it's going to be all fuzzy. So let's do this. Let's put the... No, does it... Oh, yeah, that makes a difference. Definitely, I can hear the difference. Maybe you can't, but I can. So I'll tell you right now, between the two, I like this microphone better than the newer NW800, and I do like this microphone. Now it's not, it can be, this can be warmed up. So think about that. That's all in your settings, but it's, it's picking up everything that I'm saying. It's clear, it's crisp, but the only problem is this, which honestly isn't as bad as this one was, but it's still coming through. So what we need is a little shock mounting going on in there that we'll do in another episode. But uh, this microphone was $3.68 with the promotion that Timu was running to get you into the door of Timu. And you keep adding stuff to your cart and they'll send you coupon deals and everything else. I can see where it be can become addictive, but I can see where it also can be very, um, well, let's just say tricky. You might you might not get what you want or what you think you're getting. Am I happy with this microphone? Well, for $3.60, I am happy. I am happy with it right now, the way it's working right now. Over the NW800 that I use all the time, I am more happy with this microphone than I am this microphone that I've recently acquired that I like the heft and the weight and it's good for podcasting and things like that. But this seems like it could be a well-rounded microphone. No, it doesn't have the, even the coast of the components that this has in it, but it's how things work together. Luck of the draw, you might get a horrible one. What equipment are you using? What kind of interface are you using? Uh, these are, are all factors. What kind of noise gates are you using and such? So that means if this microphone is this clear, Right now, I can really go into my DAW, dial it in with ease, and really make this thing sound amazing. And we're going to do that in another episode. But in the meantime, I hope you guys will hit that like button, share, subscribe, and remember that uh, we always have these cool things here coming through at Fulton Street Beats. And our next video is going to be, if you can get a little glimpse behind me on the wall, it is a Brandon's Custom Shop Double Neck SG guitar that just arrived the other day. And we're going to do a review of that guitar, and you're not going to want to miss that review because, well, <laughs> honestly, well, ooh, I have said too much now. All right, rock and roll makes the world do that twirly thing. Hit that like button, share, subscribe. Peace, guys. I love you all. Bye. Thank you.